Good afternoon. Welcome to daily currency update from the currency desk. Yesterday, we witnessed a slight appreciation in the value of Indian rupee. This appreciation could be quantified up to up, up to about 30 paise. Uh, so, all in all, what we are seeing is that the volatility in the USD INR pair, INR pair continues and uh, yesterday and today we have seen some covering of the losses of the current week today uh, yesterday we had the trade deficit data of uh, our, of india and what we have witnessed is that the trade deficit has widened this is slightly negative news for the indian rupee and uh, one of the major reasons for the widening of the trade deficit is the fact that the exports have decreased for our country. So, this is putting pressure on the imports as well. Today, we are expecting the today the movement in the Indian rupee against the US dollar was mainly impacted or influenced by the CPI and the IIP data. Since the inflation data and the I, in the production data both came much better than expected there was appreciation in the Indian rupee and we witnessed around 20-30 paise appreciation further appreciation in the Indian rupee at current levels uh, the trend seems to have uh, the dollar seems to have slight uh, bullish bounce back against the Indian rupee but it will be safer if we undertake long positions only above 52.76 in the spot levels in terms of uh, euro, we have witnessed some appreciation yesterday night in the value of euro against the USD. This was mainly being attributed to the fact that there were some statements from the Spanish officials. This statement was mainly regarding an indication that the OMT purchase program would start pretty soon. So, this gives slightly bullish sentiments for the markets that uh, Spain would not face that much trouble in face in paying its payables. Also, we had another statement made by German Chancellor Angela Merkel stating that Germany would continuously help the Euro European Union build consumption. Now, the markets did not read too much into this data, but what is expected to happen is that if Germany helps the other European nations boost their exports, by actually consuming, taking imports from the other countries, this would in the longer run help support the European countries. So, all in all, uh, though markets didn't read much into this statement, but we could have uh, huge implications from the same. For today, there is no major data from the European front except for the European uh, industrial production data. Also, in terms of Euro against the Indian rupee, we are witnessing a bullish trend. We would recommend to hold all long positions at current levels with a stop loss of 67.83 in the spot. In terms of pound, uh, we witnessed the pound cross over above 1.6 levels against the USD after falling for 2-3 uh, days of the current week. This was mainly tracking the movement of Euro USD. And against the Indian rupee also, uh, we have seen the pound fall from 89 levels to 84 levels. So, again, uh, we are seeing some uh, stabilizing and some bounce back coming from the pound against the Indian rupee as well. Uh, what would be key decision for uh, the Bank of England would be the quantitative easing. So, the current quantitative easing plan ends in the month of October. So, in the month of November, the Bank of England meeting would have to take a very tough decision whether to again come out with further quantitative easing or not to do so. This is more crucial or more dicey mainly in the face uh, because the inflation data is currently seeming to be above expectations. So, this could further put in pressure on the Bank of England and the decision could be further crucial uh, for the movement of pound against the Indian rupee as well as the US dollar. In terms of GBB, we recommend a buy only op above 84.62 levels in the spot with a strict target of 84.85. Yeah, uh, 
the Japanese yen against the US dollar seems to be moving only based on the US data because right now the fundamentals for for the Japanese economy do not seem to be that attractive. But yes, the safe haven, haven demand for Japanese yen continues. We had the US jobless claims data which were much better than expected. So based on this data we saw a rally in the Japanese yen uh, against other currencies and at the same time the value of Japanese yen fell against the US dollar. We had the Japanese household confidence and core machinery orders data coming in worse than expected. So all in all the picture for the Japanese economy does look bleak and uh, in terms of Indian rupee uh, the Japanese yen would continue to remain strong mainly because of the weakness in the Indian rupee. One can uh, hold the current short positions with a stop loss of 66.92 in the spot.